Hi everyone, my name is Paul Kessel, I'm a multiplayer producer over here at DICE on Star Wars Battlefront 2, and we're gonna take a look at Strike on Takadana. In the open beta, we're, we have uh, our new game mode, Strike, which is kind of our one of our smaller game modes. And in this one, you are attempting to uh, take an artifact out of Maz's castle uh, and, and extract it. Uh, hopefully, in this game mode, people will be able to uh, get a lot more of that close-knit gameplay without any heroes getting in the way. It's a bit more about troopers and the reinforcements that we have available. So it's again, it's a bit more infantry-based. There's no there's no vehicles, so it's it's trying to have a, some really tight-knit gameplay, uh, allowing classes to shine. In Strike, we have uh, it's an AV8 game mode, so 16 players will be running around. Uh, you see here some of the uh, resistance troopers that we have, the four various classes. There's the assault class the heavy class, the officer, and the specialist. And some of their star cards. Star cards are a way for you to increase the level of customization for your character. So if you want to play as the assault class and you want, uh, you really want to focus on having a great grenade, you know, this allows you to upgrade your grenade over time so it does more damage or maybe it uh, has a larger explosion radius. Um, you're, you're trying to collect cards to give yourself more gameplay tools in your toolbox for each of your various classes. And the beta is just a sliver uh, of what we have available, but we want to give players a taste of what, they, what they'll uh, experience when the game launches, uh, but without giving the showing, you know, showing all of, our, uh, all of our available options. But this is really about letting you have a, a small taste. We want players to, to work together as, as a team. Uh, as you spawn in, we want to make sure that people are trying to pick the right classes that complement each other. That way you can, you can get in there, try to work with, uh, say, the officer, which is one of my favorite classes. Uh, do they want to sit there and you know buff the team, try to get into that point, grab the artifact, and get out of there? Uh, so, yeah, ideally, and especially a lot of the close quarters areas, when once you get inside the castle, is where you're going to rely a lot on, on your teammates to make that stuff happen. This map is again very iconic based on the, the latest movie, and I think that players will be pleasantly surprised about how you know, how particular and how very uh, attention to detail focused we are, and bringing that that area to life. In this scenario, we're, we're not trying to recreate anything from the movie, so we're not having them steal like Ray's uh, the, the lightsaber that Ray finds, for example. It's we want to keep it a bit more um, not encroaching on the story of the movies, because then you know we, we run into situations where, well, are we trying to retell the story of the movie? Are we not? Uh, this is more about having an authentic, believable world, uh, and then allowing people to play around in that area without being you know tying ourselves too closely to the story. That was the strike on Takadana. I hope everyone enjoyed it, and we'll see you out in the open beta. プレイステーション